California is on track for a busy travel season this summer. Experts say demand for hotel rooms in L.A., Orange, and San Diego counties will reach pre-pandemic levels. Visit California President Carolyn Batetta says SoCal is faring well in part because the pandemic has many people traveling in state. Californians are actually rediscovering the world-class appeal of their home state. So I see this as as a trend that is not going to wane in the near future. The Tennis says last year, in-state travel spending was up 22%. Blake Trolley, KFI News. Inflation is at a four-decade high. It went up 8.6% last month over a year earlier, higher than expected. ABC's Alexis Christophorus says that people's paychecks are not keeping up with inflation. When you account for inflation, wages are actually down 3% since this time last year. And I actually spoke with an economist earlier who said, you know, our purchasing power has just become less and less. Prices are up for basics, food, gas, rent, energy costs, and some fun stuff too, like cars and plane tickets. And do optimists live longer? Of course. A study from the American Geriatric Society suggested people who generally expect positive future outcomes have a higher chance of living past 90. The study of almost 160,000 women of different races and backgrounds has been done over almost 90 years. The study showed healthy lifestyles that include good diet, exercise, body mass index, smoking, and alcohol consumption are a factor, but a larger indicator of living longer is being optimistic. It found optimists lived about four years longer than their less positive thinking counterparts on average. Amy King, KFI News. 
Southland weather from KSI. The weekend will see lots of thick fog in the morning. Once that burns off, it'll be sunny with highs in the mid-70s to 80s at the beaches, Metro LAOC in the valleys. High 90s to around 100 in the IE. Lows in the 50s to around 60. Right now, Diamond Bar 66, Santa Monica 63, Santa Ana 64, and Admission Viejo 61 degrees. We leave local from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Andrew Caravella. Crash and Downey on the westbound side of the 105 just past Lakewood Boulevard has all lanes stopped. Watch for a jam to drive you. Coach Lakewood Boulevard in West Covina, westbound side of the 10, Vincent to Pacific. It's all lanes closed by Caltech to around 5 o'clock this morning. Delays there back almost to Reduce Avenue and Coach of Mesa. All lanes shut down to the 405 southbound Harbor to Bristol until around 6 a.m. Northbound side of the 405 shut down Brookhurst to Warner until around 7 o'clock this morning. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. Robert Jabucky. As parents, we've done everything possible to protect our kids from COVID-19, from using hand sanitizers to masking up. But now we have the most important tool, vaccines. They help protect our children and the entire family. And it's okay to have questions. Ask your doctor about the COVID-19 vaccine for your child or visit vaccinateall58.com to learn more and find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. The podcast, Deliver Us from Herbal, reveals the dark story of Herbal the Baron and the reporters, cops, and insiders who tried to take down his vicious, organized crime family. When I arrived in that town, I expected to find it under siege, people living in fear. But instead, I found something more interesting than that crime I had originally been sent to cover. Listen to Deliver Us from Herbal on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Brought to you by DuckDuckGo. Search, browse, and email privately, all for free with the DuckDuckGo app. Our windows have a story to tell, shouldn't yours? My name's Mike Jackson. Elias Ariola. What sets American Vision and Windows apart is their investment in their employees. The Bill and Kathleen way is investing in you, and it's contagious. They are always putting back in the company, and that's why this company is where it's at today. American Vision Windows continues to revolutionize the home improvement industry, one customer at a time, while changing the lives of our employees for the better. Happy employees. Happy My old windows heated it up like a brick oven, and now it's completely climate controlled. Can you tell I love these guys? See the difference that new windows can make in your home. For a limited time, American Vision Windows offers a whole house of windows for $99 a month or free expert installation. Call 888-226-9908. Get the vision. Get the vision. Call or see website for details. Offer expires 630 2022. CSLB number 778326. Attention foot pain sufferers. If you have pain, burning, or numbness in your feet or legs, you may have neuropathy. Neuropathy is caused by damage to nerves and it impacts the lives of millions of Americans. If you are suffering from neuropathy and have been prescribed a medication like Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta, there is an alternative. Highly trained doctors are using a cutting-edge treatment to slow and often reverse the disease without addictive medications. If you are tired of living with foot pain, then call Elite Medical Group at 833, the number 4, Go Feet. That's 833, the number 4, Go Feet. There is no surgery or prescription drugs. Don't wait to get relief. Call 833-4-GO-FEET. The first 25 callers will receive a full exam and in-depth consultation absolutely free. KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. Line is 818-501-4109. The first time caller line is 
501-4721. To talk to Richard from East of the Rockies, call 800-825-5033. From West of the Rockies, toll free, call 800-618-8255. This is Coast to Coast AM with your guest host, Richard Serrett. Welcome back. Sitting in for George Norrie, say hello on Twitter at Richard Serrett and the website strangeplanet.ca. A new one from the Doobie Brothers, Oh Mexico, from their uh, new album Liberté. And they are celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. So as we uh, head on into open lines, I thought it might be kind of cool to springboard off my uh, previous discussion with Charles Lear about the golden age of flying saucers and uh, keep that conversation going. In particular, uh, there are a number of cases in uh, the flying saucer investigators involving the discovery of trace evidence, trace evidence after a sighting or the crash of a fiery object. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to hear from callers who believe they have in their possession trace evidence of an unidentified aerial phenomenon or a UFO or a flying saucer, if you prefer. That's just a one conversation starter. Just about anything goes, but of course, as always, we'll keep it a political free zone and uh, no COVID. All right, we begin. Open lines, your calls, next, right here on Coast to Coast AM. If you're looking for natural products to pamper your body, look no further than Dr. Squatch. They're changing the shower game with amazing products of deodorants, conditioners, shampoos, and so many other things. All products are at least 98% natural in origin, and they're the finest ingredients Mother Nature has to offer. And you can recognize and pronounce everything you see on the packaging, unlike the harsh chemicals found in the generic body washes, hair care, and other deodorants. Dr. Squatch has 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you use Dr. Squatch and can honestly say their products are not the best you've ever used, they'll send you your money back, no questions asked. Shop at DrSquatch.com where new customers will receive 20% off, $20 or more you spend. Enter promo code COAST. That's DrSquatch.com, promo code COAST. Let me spell it out for you. D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H dot com, promo code COAST. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Elizabeth Warren, they're all attacking America's tech innovators. The left's bill, S-2992, would take away the digital tools small businesses rely on, empower China to beat America in the race for new technologies, and increase the risk of cyber attacks. When liberals attack America's tech innovators, they're really attacking everyday Americans and Main Street businesses. American jobs, America's security, and the online privacy of the American people are all on the line. Why would Senate conservatives support this liberal agenda that threatens American innovation? We need to stop Pelosi, Schumer, Warren, and the rest of the D.C. liberals from taking away our technology and making China stronger at America's expense. Call the U.S. Senate today at 202-224-3121. Tell Senate Republicans to oppose S-2992. ProtectingTaxpayers.org, paid for and authorized by Taxpayers Protection Alliance. And away we go with open lines on a Friday night, Saturday morning on Coast to Coast AM. And we begin with uh, Jason East of the Rockies in Dubuque, Iowa. Jason, good morning. Welcome to Coast. Yes, I don't, you know, I I don't know, this is a short ghost story, I don't know if it's, it might, uh, some people might think a lot of it, and some people won't, but I saw about 10 years ago on the TV, I was watching, uh, listening to a show, and you know those shipyards out in Southern California, they have a lot of, 
like Long Beach, San Pedro, they have a lot of ships out there. Right. And uh, one of the ships uh, was a World War II ship, and the guy was, they, you know how those ships gather dust, and they had to go up there and clean them up and clean them up and dust them up. Anyway, one, day, one guy went up there to one of the World War II ships, and he did his stuff up there, and he cleaned them all, cleaned them everything up, and he got to the top of uh, the top to the level, and he cleaned the last room up, and those portholes have curtains. And he left all those curtains open. He cleaned them up, left the portholes uh, open with the curtains, and he left. He went down the stairs to the pier. He locked the door, and right as soon as he got down to the pier, uh, down the stairs to the pier, he heard a noise, and he looked back. And the last room he was cleaning up at, there came a hand and closed those curtains oh. to light. Now, is that a ghost or what? Uh, could be. Could be. What do you think? I say that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> that would certainly. If it's a ghost or it's not a ghost, it's, uh, I'm, I'm running in the opposite direction. Yeah, a lot of it seems to be a lot of paranormal activity on on board uh, these old vessels, and uh, well, there've been volumes written about this. Volumes. Jason, thank you for the call. Great way to kick off our open lines. Uh, let's go wild card line. Brad is in New Orleans. Hey, Brad, welcome to Coast. Hey, Richard. Hey, I just wanted to say that in 1984, I was a nuclear missile site security officer for the Persian two missiles in Schwäbisch Gmünd, Germany. Yes. And uh, yeah, you, you were right on line with your previous uh, speaker uh, about UFOs and uh, nuclear uh, missiles because we uh, we recovered a nuclear we recovered an alien spacecraft. I have top secret clearance. Probably won't have it after talking to you. But uh, in 1984, they actually recovered one. Uh, I was told we're clear we had three bunkers at Schwaber's Gamow, and it was at the airfield there. And we had three bunkers. We had nuclear uh, warheads in. I was told we're clear one of the bunkers. And uh, several trucks with uh, parts, I, if you can call it that, uh, were brought in. I was the only one that was authorized to open and close the bunkers, seal them. But... Uh, they were definitely. It was. They said it was Russian writing on the on the on a hieroglyph, hieroglyphics. But I speak fluent Russian, so I knew it wasn't Russian. But uh, I did. I did pick up one piece, and it was white as mat. It was white as aluminum, but uh, it was uh, very strong temple strength. And, right. uh, and I think you're right on. I think. I think people have. Uh, are, Aliens have been here, and I think the nuclear uh, arsenal that we have has been of interest of them since the 40s. So, do you believe that this craft crashed on this nuclear on base in Germany? It, it crashed in proximity to that. We had we have what what they used to call uh, an exclusionary zone, uh, where aircraft couldn't fly, and we were uh, we had you know any aircraft weaponry and we were told that uh, if anything came in there we you know we scrambled to the bunkers and so on and so forth and about a day prior to this vehicle these vehicles pulling up they uh we called in uh an aircraft unidentified aircraft i called it in the brigade headquarters that uh, we had an aircraft in restricted airspace and i think they scrambled aircraft and then the next day, that's when I think they shot the damn thing down. And that's when all these uh, trucks showed up, these three or four trucks. I don't remember if it was three or four. But, uh, and what were you instructed? 
what were you told to keep quiet after that? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was. I had a non-disclosure agreement. I had a top secret. I still have a top secret FBI uh, clearance, and uh, it was definitely all. All the crates were labeled uh, MAJ IK12. Right, MJ12. Right. This was in 1984. How about the bodies? What about the bodies, Brad? Were there any bodies? No, sir. I did not see any bodies. All I saw was, uh, they tried to tell me it was a Russian aircraft and the hieroglyphics on the parts, because it was, it was, you know, it, they said it was Russian and it was not Russian. I speak, I speak Russian. I know Cyrillic. And they were not, it was not Cyrillic writing. That's kind of what got me talking, you know. I was talking to uh, my executive officer. He was the only other one that had the clearances to go. But uh, I just wanted to get off my chest. Well, I appreciate that, Brad. Thank you. Has anyone else in your outfit ever spoken about this? I doubt it, seriously. Uh, like I said, it was in uh, the height of the Cold War in 1984. And it was with the Persian 2 missile systems in Germany. And we had just deployed the Persian 2. We replaced the Persian 1A. And uh, I know there was a lot of activity, not only there, but uh, a friend of mine, another officer, Air Force officer, was a friend, said there was activity at his base in England because they had the cruise launch, land cruise launch, cruise missiles, nuclear tip cruise missiles. And they had similar incidents. But uh, I'm a firm believer <laughs> ever since that point. And I've only discussed this once, and that was with my wife. So... I'm, I'm well, I am, right now, so I'm on the way out. But <laughs> you know, I uh, I uh, I'm honored that you would share that uh, with me and and uh, our audience, Brad. Thank you so much. Thank you for your service, and thank you for sharing this incredible story. You're right. You're, you're right. You're right with the with the alien aircraft or unidentified aircraft uh, with the nuclear. Their interest in our nuclear capabilities. Yeah, one thing has always puzzled me, and we hear about UAPs turning off nuclear missiles and so forth. Where were they when the big ones were dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima? Where were the, uh, the UFOs then? I have always wondered that. Thank you again for the call. Oh. I, know that, I know from history that the uh, bomber wing that dropped the nuclear uh, bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, I think they were based, uh, that bomber wing was based near the uh, Roswell incident, if I'm not mistaken. Right, right. That makes sense. Brad, thank you again for the call. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome, Vincent. Have a good evening. Me too. A uh, wild card line, Mary is in the Garden State, New Jersey. Hello, Mary. Welcome. And something different. I want to talk about the name George. I found that really good. As far as the Bible, for history and mythology, um, so when I was little, not over the year four, I used to do this. Like, my father's name is George. So I'm thinking, oh, gee, is that means God, and G-E means Genesis, and G-E means Garden of Eden. And then it has that O-R in the middle. So it's like the Old Testament for the New Testament, G-E, it's Christ says, I make all things new, and if you're born again, you become a new creation in Christ, right? That's the Bible part of it. And um, I go to history where uh, King George III, this is the old, for George Washington, he's the new, right? So um, then I called the library, and I said, tell me the oldest, uh, uh, we can find George, so they look back in Greek, Mythology, right? And um, I never knew the thing was there. Yeah. But there was a Georgia, God, Georgia, and it's been in the time, in around the time of Zeus. So that's back like way back in the BC, right? So he said the, the way they spell the name, the first part of it means farmer. I said that sounds like the Old Testament again. God made everything, he made the garden, you know. And the last part of it means work. Sounds like the New Testament, Christ did all the work. So even back then, that name, you know, sounds like the Bible, but it was like a Greek god in mythology. Did you ever hear that name? No, not in Greek mythology, I hadn't. 
Well, I'm living in a Greek household, so I'll try to get to the bottom of that. But um, it's you know it's fascinating what you've done with that name. Um, there's a um, a name expert who comes on coast. I have I've had her on my program as well, Marianna Corwitz. She talks about the uh, the power and the energy of names. So next time she's on coast, you should definitely call in and uh, and talk to her about. I'd be allowed to talk, talk about that again. I'm sure you would. I'm sure you would. Oh, do you know when she's coming on? I don't. I mean, I, she's been on fairly recently, but I'm sure you know there'll be another naming, another name expert. It's a fascinating okay. feel. I, I love yeah, it. I could listen to that yeah, kind of stuff all night. You know, it's a little. I have nothing else to do. So pick the name apart. <laughs> so yeah, so I think I like to know all that, like Moses yes, himself. That's an Egyptian name. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you should uh, see what you can do with my name, Mary Richard, and we'll talk again. There's your homework assignment, Richard. Richard, back to England. There you go. All right, Mary. Thank you. You have a great evening. Uh, let's see where we're going next. Is uh, Andrea is in Grafton, Wisconsin. Hello, Andrea. Welcome to Coast. Hello. Thank you. Um, I I calling in um about black holes and and tying into what what your last caller spoke about with the um the the nuclear um the nuclear bombs and and uh ufo sightings um, right right this, okay so this is really ironic that that he said this because i i really i mean i had heard of that but i, I was joking because i'm like really into black holes and time traveling and so um, I, I said, you know, well, I, 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 I came from, you know, the, the Cloud Nebula, and um, but and I meant to go to to the Kashmir Valley, Shangri-La uh, Circus.